Entitled mother gets angry at me for washing her son's hands. Halloween is around the corner, costumes are in stock, candy bundles got everyone hungry, and neighbourhoods are getting spooky decorations. I decided to head out to Hobby Lobby to gather some crafting material to make spooky art. It was 5pm, so I expected mothers picking out some costumes for their kids early because of the first come first serve motive. I came across some kid left unattended, playing with their stock zippers. He had caramel around his lips and fingers. Uh oh, I thought. I rushed over to sanitise his hands and the zippers he touched. He then ran away to his mother. After I gathered some materials, I headed over to check out and the same kid was standing by his mother. She was not happy to see me. What gives you the right to touch my little angel? Ma'am, you left your child alone and he was covered in caramel. He touched the zippers with sticky fingers and... Sticky fingers, the child uttered as, his, as he smothers her leggings with caramel. My son can do what he wants, so don't approach him again. As I paid for my things, I waved while smirking at her because there were other mothers trying to educate her. I have a dream that every mother should supervise their children. Entitled kid tries to steal my bike. My sister and I went to the park near our house to ride our bikes and I set off on the bike track. Characters in EK, Entitled Kid, NB, Nice Brother, Entitled Kid's Not Mine, Me, OP. Okay, so basically when I started off, I saw this kid nearby doing what looked like graffiti on the walls. For some strange reason, he waved to me, and I naturally waved back. I went on with my bike ride until I got to the point that I went all the way to another suburb. I decided to head back, and when I was reaching the point where I started, Entitled Kid jumped out of the bushes and said to me, Yo, what a nice bike. I worried that he might be up to no good, said, yeah, thanks. Entitled Kid then asked to ride my bike, and when I politely de declined, he tried grabbing it away from me. He was an eight-year-old kid, I think, so it wasn't hard for me to wrestle the bike away from him. I was 15. Entitled Kid then started saying, oh, Jesus, I'm not going to repeat that. Uh, why won't you allow me to get on the bike? I'm an 18-year-old Indian kid, so yeah, that was a pretty bad insult there. I hear a voice and NB walks up. It was that kid who was doing graffiti. He then shouts at his brother saying, you faggot, let the guy have his bike. If I tell dad, you'll be in some deep shit. Entitled kid stopped and I thanked NB and went on the way with the rest of my ride. Entitled mum tells my mum to search through their kid's backpack, which is against rules for a one day overdue library book. Complains when my mum declines. Backstory. My mum is a librarian at a six to seven school building in my school district and there's an automatic email that gets sent to the kids email when there is an overdue book. So the automatic email got sent to the kids email which the parent is not supposed to be on. And my mum received an email from the parent on the kids email that says that my mum should go to the kids classroom and take the book out of his backpack which is against the rules for a teacher to do so unless there's a reason to suspect there's drugs or something in there. When my mum sent back an email saying that the kids can just bring back after school, the mum calls the office and forces them to call the kids' classroom, saying that the kids need to return the book now, even though there is no fine for overdue books unless they are just completely gone. The kid comes to the library and says the book isn't in his backpack, and my mum says we'll just return it tomorrow if you find it, and the kid says my mum sounded really mad. My mum says just to tell her there's no fine and you can just bring it back when you find it. Entitled Dad is a giant asshole. So this happened about a year ago, so sorry if it's a little rusty. Me, EK, Mum, Dad. A little context, this was at my friend's birthday party at a mini golfing place. We weren't really good friends, but we, but we rode the same bus. At the mini golfing place, there were two mini golfing rooms. I have no idea why, but I wanted to be the lone wolf. So I went into the other room. Up ahead was ED, EM and EK. I was waiting for them to finish when I noticed a sign. One golf ball at a time on the roller coaster. There was one at that stage. So after EK's ball went to the other side, I went and putted. This is where the drama happened. Me. Putts. ED, excuse me young man? Yes? You can't go yet. Oh, sorry sir. And he kept yelling at me for a minute or so. I thought that was the end of it. I was in a pissed off mood so I went to join my friends. I accidentally bumped into EM. Excuse me miss. In a very quiet voice as I pass through tightly. Say excuse me you little shit. 
Here's when Ian comes and saves the day. Honey, stop assaulting the boy. He said it in a polite manner. <laughs> so after that, I joined my friends and had fun after that. I was seriously considering to complain to the staff, but ended up not for some reason. 